While wandering the desolate wastes of the land of YouTube, you stumble across a kingdom. This is the kingdom of Aslona. <laughs> Welcome back to Warsim. In the last episode, uh, we engaged in a little bit of diplomacy, but uh, not too much. Mostly to gain information on our enemies, and we then invaded them and captured some of their lands. We actually also captured a mine, the Mumfort Mine, and we are now earning about 2,500 gold coins from them, which is absolutely fabulous. And actually, I believe we might have some more peasants to send there, so let's actually do that now, and we might do some more processing prospecting, see if we can increase the amount of ore, maybe find some hidden tunnels and stuff like that. So let's actually explore the realm here. I believe it was to the west, and we have the Mumfort Mine here, which is owned by us. And we can prospect, which I will do right now. Oh. Oh well, turns up nothing. Oh, so we can do it once a season. Okay. That's good to know. Let's actually turn our peasants into miners. Here we have 56. Let's grab maybe, oh, I don't know. 25 of them, perhaps. All right, make a little bit of extra money. And that sounds good here, that's about it. Let's actually keep exploring to the west. You wander aimlessly, you wander aimlessly. Oh, magical fruit farm. <laughs> okay. Buy barrels of, oh, blue tree eye fruit. Yes, these are fruits that give your soldiers extra strength. Um, or, well, they fight better anyway if you use the fruit in combat. I wonder if we should just attack it and kind of own the farm. I really don't know how powerful this is, so we might just leave it for now. Yeah, let's actually not attack it for now. Let's go back here. And we've done our exploring for the time being, so I think we will actually recruit some more troops here. Because, wait, how many troops do we have? Yeah, 308, because we sent a lot of our peasants into the uh, mines there, which is good. It means that our army is a bit more uh, quality over quantity in this case, but I'd like a bit more quantity. So let's uh, recruit some troops here. And let's hire some soldiers. We can hire 118. Let's get 100 soldiers. There we go. Sounds pretty good. And let's actually check our throne room, see if there are any visitors. Eight people, all right. Hedge Knight. Uh, oh, join our army. Yep. Wow, that's actually really, really good. Uh, let's actually send in the next visitor here. A farmer is shouting one of our soldiers wanted to fight me, but he didn't show up. Uh, let's pay reparations. Sure. Drunk Gambler. Which is join your army as his family were all killed by bandits. Sure. I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about having a drunkard in my army, but... Okay. <laughs> Traveling knight. Wow. I wonder what all these people are going to find. A reaver warlock of the dead from the mad tribe of Pothic seeks refuge with you having been sentenced to death. Oh. Turn him. What? Oh, turn him away. Okay. We can execute him or we can return him. Why were you sentenced to death? I killed a horse that was in great pain. Let's accept it, sure. What does that mean? Does it mean he joins our court? Wait, I'm curious. Let's actually see... Hire staff? No, is he a part of our army? Uh... Kingdom report. Let's look at our... Troop count, I guess. Oh, he's a reaver. He's part of our army. Whoa. Okay, that sounds impressive. Okay, welcome aboard, buddy. If I'm not mistaken, they're actually our allies here. Oh, never mind. They're independent, okay. Oh, wait, can we talk to them? Oh, no, they're xenophobic, that's right. That might have actually helped me deal with them, but I'd kind of rather have them part of the army? I don't know, that just sounds so... It sounds absolutely terrifying for any of our opponents, so let's actually uh, keep him for the time being. And let's actually... Can we do any kingdom upgrades? I'm curious. Military buildings... No, we don't have enough for that. But we will soon, though, especially with our mine. Uh, guilds, maybe? Oh, 60,000. Yeah, no, this is uh, way too much money. Productivity? Oh, Shrine of the Harvest. No, 25,000 is too much. Library. Oh, it means we can read. Yeah, this is way too much money. They're all over like 10,000 cold coins, which we really don't have. 
But actually, this better mining tools would be absolutely great if I can, but hopefully we'll be able to afford it. It's actually in the turn. Here we go. We can attack. Yeah, let's attack the dreaded arrows again. Try to destroy them a bit more and invade them. Send all of them. Now let's send everyone but our peasants. Yeah, that makes more sense because I want our peasants to stay alive. Wow, we lost 73 men. That actually kind of sucks. Oh, but we won. Ooh. Plus one opinion, and we get 40 bandits, because a few rival bandits and exiled ones too pledged to join our cause. Absolutely excellent. So we have made, whoa. Really, we only expended 661 gold? Wow, but we made eight, almost 9,000. Wow. Yeah, that mine is making us some money, but it's actually only about 2,600. Why are we making so much money? <laughs> I'm trying to trying to understand, but I don't... I don't see why we're making 8,000, 8, 9,000. Is it maybe from taxes? Hmm, I don't know. Curious. But that's fine. Oh, maybe it's from taxes, actually. Yeah, that's probably it. So uh, that's great. We now have 9,000 gold. What shall we do with this gold? We shall explore the realm. Uh, let's go north a little bit more. A lost knight wandering aimlessly. Wow. <laughs> Join for free. Yes, please. Oh, Shallow Rock Mine. That's another mine we can conquer as well. Oh, 600 men. No, nah, that's... Speak to the leader of the mine. Scrote, the leader of the Greenskin Mining Company, approaches you and greets you. He says his mine has 600 miners and warns you not to try anything, as goblins with a pickaxe is not something to mess with. Um, I agree. I, I don't have the army for that yet. But I'm keeping you in mind for later, buddy. Oh. Find a wandering group of 32 masterless soldiers, which will join us for 20 gold each. Yes. Totally worth it. All right. Can I do anything with... Hmm. I thought there was something I could do with less than 10,000 gold, but I might actually be mistaken. Let's actually go through these a little bit. Yeah, no. Arena buildings. No. Uh, recruitment buildings? No. Uh, perhaps income? No, there's no way. It's all over 10,000. It's a bit of a shame, but I mean, we're really close to getting there. Hmm. Let's actually recruit some more troops, maybe? Because, I mean, overflowing in cash. Uh, let's recruit some more soldiers. Let's get another 100 soldiers. Perfect. Can I hire some, maybe hire some peasants and put them in the mine? But it's pretty expensive. No, you know what? Let's, let's not do that. Doesn't seem like a great idea. Let's actually arrange some diplomacy. Maybe. Can we speak to the goblin kingdoms? Okay, we can speak to them. But I don't think we can do anything. Oh, di diplomatic action with the Krut is not possible as they are too savage. Okay, I think we specifically need a... Goblin diplomat in order to speak with them. Which might be something worth looking at. Let's actually hire some staff, maybe? A uh, spy master might be good, because I think it means that you get more information on potential enemies and allies and neutral factions and stuff. So three potential spy masters are sent to your court. As usual, you may speak to them. So let's speak to Trocello the War King. Uh, I once discovered that the king's son had been replaced by an evil wizard. It made for quite an awkward feast. <laughs> if you don't hire me, some other king will. And I demand payment of 188 gold per season. Wow, that's actually pretty harsh. But 145 skill is quite impressive. Highly regarded. 149 gold. Oh, wow. See, the pretty equal skill level. Let's look at him. 194 for 160. I will take the cheapest one. Oh, Oathkeeper. <laughs> Jarlasar the Oathkeeper, yeah. I like your name, so I will hire you. Can we hire a no, court jester? Steward, first champion. Can we hire a first champion, maybe? Hmm. Which one of you has the best name? <laughs> Let's actually see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to ask you that question. Seeing all the names here, which do you think is the best hire for this? Which one has the coolest name? Let's exit now, and we will exit back here, and we will end our turn. Oops. Uh, wrong button. All right. Let's keep attacking the uh, 
Oh no, never mind. The dreaded arrows are destroyed. I don't know how I feel about the strange soldiers, but let's attack them anyway. <laughs> Invade them. We'll send all of our troops. Oh, wise tactic. Okay. Um, I've done some spying and arranged some battle reports for you, sir. Oh, I see. So we have a higher battle score than them. Which I think means we will crush them. Oh, and you can change your mind. Okay, that's very good. All right, we actually uh, killed 151 of them, and they killed 83 of ours. Pretty good battle. And we actually were not attacked, which is very good. But let's see what happened here. Oh, okay, we can go up here and see the results here. So let's see what our taxes were. Oh, 2,000 gold from taxes. Okay, I think that's probably... Oops. I think that's probably why we're making so much money. Oh, we expended quite a bit, 3,700, probably for wages, but we're still making about 3,000, which is not too bad. And um, yeah, that's actually really good. Oh, bandits pillaged 1,100 gold from me this season. Well, that's not very nice. And now let's actually visit our throne room first and see we have 18 people. Wow, I might not do all of these, but some of them. A drunk gambler who has found a strange orb under a rock near a lake. Uh, let's buy the orb. Oh, okay. Did you just give it to us for free? <laughs> a traveling bard. Song on his loot for 50 gold. Yeah, let's listen to it. That was a great performance, actually. Yeah, that was a great performance. Let's see you blankly. Uh, can we hire you? Wow, nobody's looking for full-time work. All right, you can leave. Be gone. Traveling bard. Ooh, a vampiric loot. Okay. Uh, that was a great performance, sure. Thanks for listening. Can I actually hire you now? God, nobody's looking for full-time work. Uh, what's your name, at least? On a Onage. Cool name. All right, you can leave. Traveling knight quests for me. We're visited by a mad person who says, the savage is laughable. Uh, to the dungeons with you. <laughs> Next visitor. You're visited by a farmer who claims one of your soldiers stole an apple from a tree in his land. He demands payment for it. Sure, I'll pay for your apple. An old disgraced knight. Yes, quest for me. Are they ever going to come back from these quests, or they just leave and die? <laughs> you are visited by a farmer who wishes to complain. My king, you ally yourselves with bandits. This cannot be. Uh, I will not do anything. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I should have sent him to the dungeons, I think. <laughs> Traveling bard, elite musician. Sure. Okay, very good song. Uh, great performance. Let's actually pay you for it. And now can we hire you? Oh, hey! Grill Run the Clicker. 140, that's actually really good for six, 69 gold. <laughs> Alright, let's hire you, buddy. Hey, court musician. A man who's accused of murdering peasants. Explain yourself. I would never do bad. I didn't do it. What do you say, arresting guard? Well, can anyone really say if someone is guilty or not? Hang them all and let us and let them be sorted out in the afterlife. Um Let's capture him actually. Send the next visitor. An inexperienced beggar who wishes to join your army as his family were all killed by bandits. Yep. Next visitor. Oh, twenty eight gold. That's actually totally worth it. Alright, you know what? That's gonna do that. And now we will actually have we explored the realm? No, we haven't. Okay, let's explore north here. Cartographer's Guild. What's that? Oh, we can buy some maps to see what is around here. Okay. Oh, buy a map of the Isle of Skulls. Very cool. <laughs> Destroy the guild hall. No. Explore some more. Oh, Thick Blood Tavern. Talk to the bartender. Can we hire some bandits? 40 gold. Really? 
58 of them for 40 gold? Oh. Sure, I'll hire all of them because they're cheaper than soldiers. So, sure. Uh, let's actually go back here. <laughs> we can watch a thug brawl also. Pretty cool. Find a lost knight. Oh. Sure. <laughs> Join me. <laughs> awesome. Those are the kind of events I like. All right, since that's the end of that, we will end our turn here. We will actually attack the uh, strange soldiers again. We will invade them. Oops. We will actually invade them. Send all my troops. Wow, our battle score is actually really significantly better than them, so... And we've killed, wow, about, uh, yeah, about four times as many, so that's really good. Excellent, we gain some land. A oh, victory, plus one opinion, and 40 bandits. Oh, we're being attacked by rebels. Oh, our lands were captured. Guys, stop capturing our lands. Hmm. Wow, we gained 10,000 gold that season? Absolutely incredible. Let's just actually see what it was. It is actually taxes here. Oh yeah, 4,300 from taxes. Well, that, that would explain it, okay. And I don't think we were pillaged very much. Hey, that's actually really good. Things are looking up. We now have 13,000 gold, almost 700 men, nine lands, and our public opinion is suffering a little bit, but hopefully that's something we can remedy in the future. That's going to do it for this episode of War Sim, the Realm of Aslona. Thanks for checking in. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like as well as a comment if you wish to suggest any future actions in this game or any other games that I should cover on my channel in the future. As always, please subscribe if you wish, and we'll see you again soon.